Hi everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make a rain balloon basket. As you can see, I'm using one as an Easter basket and one as a regular basket. These are great for gifts, so the supplies you'll need are one loom, rubber bands, today I'm using peach and blue, a rain balloon hook or crochet hook, and scissors. So please get your supplies and get ready for step one. This is step one. To start, we're going to set up our loom. So we're going to take out our middle row, our big blue piece, and whichever one you wanna turn around, I'm going to turn around this row. so that its arrow is pointing towards me. And you can put the extra pieces away because we will not be using them. So we're gonna start by making the top and I'm gonna do two rows of each color and I'm not gonna count my X's as a row. So you're gonna start with your first color. Start on these two pegs. Make an X, make an X, and go all the way down. Now make sure all of these are pushed down and this is going to become our bottom row and we're going to lay a top row. So go back to where you started and you're just going to lay rubber bands normally all around your loom. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and you're going to take your bottom row over the top. So get your hook, and I'm going to take my two rubber bands over the top, over the top, Now this row becomes our bottom row, and we're going to lay another top row. Now we have a bottom row and a top row, and we're gonna take our bottom row over the top. And each peg will have two rubber bands.
So we have just done two rows together and you want to have 14 rows in total. So you're going to do 12 more rows of laying your rubber bands and bringing your bottom loops over the top. I'm going to switch color after each two rows. I'll be right back. I just finished my 12 more rows and now I have 14 rows in total. But I am not including the row of X's as one of my rows. So now we're going to hook this. So starting on this side where this row's arrow is pointing towards you and this row's arrow is pointing away from you, you're going to stick your hook in, grab this rubber band, and bring it to the peg next to it. And you can tell that that was the bottom loop because it hooked the rubber band behind it. Now we're going to hook the rest of these. And I separated the bottom loop from the top loops before I did this. So just take your bottom loop over the top on all of these. You can fast forward this part of the video if you already know how to do this. Now, once you get back to the peg that you started on, you just want to go around and check that you've hooked all of them correctly. And I can tell because the loops are hooking all the loops behind them. So go to the peg with both of your end rubber bands, grab two rubber bands, put it on your hook, pull this through, and pull two loops through the other two loops. Now you can start helping off your loops. And we do this so that they don't break. Now you can stretch this out a little bit to get the loops adjusted. And now we're ready to make the bottom of our basket. Now we're ready to make the bottom. So for the bottom, this is what it looks like. And we're going to start by taking two rubber bands and you need to connect these two. So one way of doing this is you can slide them both onto your hook and you can pull one loop through the other and pull one loop through the other like that or you can even do it with your fingers you can stick this loop through that loop and pull one loop through the other but I prefer doing it on the hook Like that. And you'll need to make 17 of these. So please pause the video and press play when you are ready. So on your loom, you're going to use the same setup that we used. You're going to take your first one, make an X on your first two pegs, 
Then go to your next two pegs. And you're going to do this for seven pegs. So you should be able to count seven pegs. And now we're going to lay X's up and down. So on the ends, we're just going to use one rubber band. On both ends, just use one. And then on the rest of these, you're just going to lay down your double. Now push these down and we're going to lay a top row. So you're just going to go all the way around these seven pegs, well 14 pegs. So now we have a bottom row and a top row, and you're just going to take your bottom rubber bands over the top. On each end, you will have two rubber bands, both ends, and for the rest of them, you'll have three rubber bands. So take your bottom loops over the top on all of these. And in the end, each peg should be left with two rubber bands. So we have just done one row together, and you're going to do two more rows by yourself. I'll be right back. I just finished my two more rows, and now I have three rows in total for the bottom of my basket. And now I'm ready to hook all my loops. So, starting on this peg, you're going to stick your hook in, grab your bottom loop over the top, and onto the peg next to it. Now go down and go forward. And make sure that the loop that you are hooking hooks all the loops behind it. And go all the way around. Now, starting where you stopped, you're going to stick your hook in, 
Grab one or two rubber bands, pull it through, pull one loop through the other, or your two loops through the other two loops, and pull these tight. And now you can take all your loops off. Now we're ready to attach it to our basket. Now we're ready to attach our bottom to our basket. And to know which side is our bottom, I'm going to use the side with the slip knot on the end. So, this is how it looks when we took it off our loom. And you're just going to push this inside, turn it inside out a little bit, and then stretch these out. Just like that. So this part is gonna be your inside and this part is gonna be your outside. So you're gonna stick this in like that. And I'm using this row for sewing, not the pink row, the blue row. So now, place it in where you want it. You're gonna take your hook, stick it through your first two loops. So I'm gonna grab my sewing on this side and two loops from this side. Now you're gonna take a rubber band, pull this through, piece it back on, make a slip knot, and pull this tight. So we've done our first loop. Now you're gonna skip one on our sewing side. So you're gonna stick it in your next two rubber bands, skip one on our sewing side, grab this loop, pull it through, and now we're gonna start on this side. So skip this one, Stick this through. Pull it through. And since it's getting short, we're just gonna attach another rubber band to it. So pull it through. Pull one loop through the other. And we've just made it longer. So now we're gonna st stick it in on this side. Skip one on this side. Pull it back through. Now we're gonna go back to this side. Skip one, stick it in. Pull this through. Now we're back on this side. You're gonna stick it in your next two. Skip one. Pull your loop through. And it's getting short again, so we need to grab a rubber band and make a slip knot. Now we're back on this side, so we're gonna skip one, stick it in, and stick it in. Pull this through. We're back on this side. You're gonna stick it in these two and skip one. Now we're back on this side. You're gonna skip one, grab your next two, Now we're back on this side. You're gonna grab your next ones. Skip one. Pull this through and it's getting short again so we're going to pull one loop through the other and add a rubber band. So now we're back on this side. You're gonna skip one, stick it in. 
grab two from this side, pull this through, and you're going to continue this. Stick it in, skip one on this side, pull this through, now you're back on this side, skip one, stick it in, grab your next two, pull this through, and it's getting short again, so I'm going to pull one loop through the other, And keep going. Until you get to your final one. So on your last one, we have an extra slip knot just sitting there. So we're going to make another slip knot for it to tie onto. So you want to make it in the blue, or whatever color you're using. Pull one loop through the other and make the slip knot. Then you can tie these two together in a knot. Make these tight because you don't want them to fall apart. So I'm going to tie mine three or four times. Then you're just going to take your scissors and cut these. So now we have just finished the bottom. Before we add the handle, I just wanted to let you know that I just tied my extra rubber bands together on the very bottom and the side. And I'm just going to cut them off. And you can tie yours and cut them off too. Now we're ready to add the handle. So I did a chain of 25 loops. And I did 50 rubber bands. And I did a double single, which means I did two rubber bands each time. So now we're going to find where we want our handle. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we have slip knots on both sides of our handle. So I have one already done on this side. So on this side, you're going to stick your hook through all those loops. Pull one rubber band through and pull one loop through the other. And I did the same thing to the other side. Now I'm going to find where I want it. So I'm going to put one on this side. So stick it through a fishtail. An actual fishtail on the side. You're going to pull one rubber band through. Make a slip knot. Now I'm going to take my other side where I want it, stick it through a fishtail, pull a rubber band through, and pull one loop through the other. So now I have slip knots on both sides and slip knots on both sides of the handle. So I'm going to stick my hook through that same fishtail, pull one side, and tie these two together in a simple knot. I'm going to tie mine three or four times because I want it secure. And you can cut these off. Now for this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Stick it in that same fishtail. Pull this loop through. And I'm going to tie these two slip knots together three or four times.
Then you're just going to cut these. And you're done. Now we're going to form our basket. So you can just stretch it around into your desired shape. Like that. And for your handle, if you would like to make it more sturdy, you can use thin wire or pipe cleaners. This is what it looks like when it's done. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram name is Craft Life USA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks for watching. Bye!